Sketches of Truth, Valentina's Legal Canvas. Journey with Valentina through the lines of law and artistry as she learns to protect her creative legacy in the vibrant heart of Caracas. In the bustling heart of Caracas, there lived a woman named Valentina. She was an artist with a gift for turning simple drawings into stories that could make you laugh or cry, sometimes both. Valentina didn't work for just one company, she was her boss, taking on projects as a contractor for different businesses that needed her art. One sunny morning, Valentina got a job with a big marketing firm. They wanted her to create a series of drawings for a new campaign. She worked hard, pouring her heart into every sketch and line. But when all was said and done, the company told Valentina that they owned all her drawings and she couldn't use them anywhere else. That was not what she had expected. Valentina felt a mix of surprise and worry. She had assumed that as a contractor, her art was still hers. She knew she had to learn more about these rules that people called laws. They were like invisible threads that connected everyone, but no one had ever explained them to her. She started by visiting the local library, where she found books on laws for people who worked for themselves. Valentina learned new words like intellectual property and contract rights. She talked to other artists and found they had faced similar problems. Valentina realized it was crucial for all artists, not just herself, to understand these laws. As Valentina's knowledge grew, so did her confidence. She began to write about her discoveries on a blog, using simple words to explain these complex ideas. Her blog became a lantern in the dark for many artists, guiding them through the foggy world of legal rights. Valentina decided one day that it was time to speak with the marketing company. She met with them, not with anger, but with the strength of her newfound understanding. She explained that, as a contractor, the art she made should belong to her unless they had agreed otherwise before she started drawing. The company listened. They hadn't meant to take advantage of her, instead, they just followed old habits. Valentina and the firm agreed on a fair new contract. She could use her art in her portfolio, and they could use it for their campaign. It was a win-win. Word of Valentina's victory spread. Other companies began to respect her work and her rights. Valentina kept learning and sharing, and her blog became a treasure chest of knowledge. She started workshops to teach artists about their rights, and soon, her little library of information turned into a school of legal learning for the creative souls of Caracas. Years later, Valentina looked back on that confusing time as a blessing. It had opened her eyes to the power of knowledge. She had become more than an artist, she had become a leader, a teacher, and a friend to many. And all the while, she kept drawing because it was her favorite thing to do. Revelations What is it? Basic legal knowledge is crucial for everyone, not just professionals or freelancers. It's about understanding the everyday laws that govern every aspect of our lives such as traffic regulations, consumer rights, and housing laws. Why is it important? Awareness of the law empowers individuals to navigate daily life more confidently, make informed decisions, and advocate for themselves and others when necessary. How to get started? Engage with community education programs, accessible online legal resources, or participate in local government initiatives that aim to increase public understanding of the law. The point. Knowing the law isn't just for lawyers. It's a civic skill that enables all of us to live more responsibly, safely, and harmoniously within our communities. The End <laughs>